Can you just talk a little bit about Cabernet Franc in Coombsville? Sure. Um, so, you know, one of the things that is so special about Cabernet Franc that sets it apart from Cabernet Sauvignon is that aromatic profile. Um, you know, a lot of people talk about violets and lavender stems, and uh, earlier I talked about the broad fruit characteristics that can be in there. So in Cabernet Franc, you'll, you can get some of those like red cherry notes, but you can also see some of the darker, denser color, uh, flavors of fruit. And so because of Coombsville being that cool influence and that long, sometimes long growing season, we end up being able to just accentuate all of those beautiful components that set Cabernet Franc apart from other Bordeaux varieties. So I think, I, I think Coombsville has become uniquely perfect for um, Cabernet Franc for those reasons. And, um, you know, kind of going back to the, the soils and th all these things being really <coughs> well drained, or a lot, not all the soils, but so, so many of the soils being really well drained, that's helping us with nice ripe characteristics in these red wines as well. So um, I can't wait to taste this one. Yeah, no, and I, hopefully you stuck your nose in the glass as soon as you took the spy glass off because even if you didn't, it kind of like wafted up at you. I mean, you just hit so many of the descriptors of this wine without even smelling it. Violets, lavender, all of those great sort of purpley fruits in there. I mean, we think of Cabernet Franc, we think of Cabernet Franc from all over the world, right? Everywhere from Loire Valley, where you get a little bit more stemminess to here in California, Bordeaux, obviously. And we've seen a huge resurgence or surgence of Cabernet Franc in <coughs> Napa Valley in particular. And I think it's super interesting that it seems to <coughs> have found a home in Coombsville of all yeah. places, which is super fun. And Coombsville might be uniquely, um, might have that unique, unique ability to do it in both, both styles, you know, yeah. both that really ripe style and the more <coughs> herbaceous style. Yeah. And Andy, I know you're working with Cabernet Franc as well. Anything you want to add on that front? Um. Well, I think everywhere in Napa is perfect for Cabernet Franc because I just love <laughs> Cabernet Franc. But it definitely lends itself to producing more of that herbaceous style, which I really like. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like a lot of California wines lack that sort of savory tone in the wine. And I just like, I actually moved ahead to the next wine too, which I maybe shouldn't have. But <laughs> I just love, what, I think what ties these wines together is that freshness and that acid profile that just holds the wine together. and helps the wine age, but also just gives it this bright brightness and freshness that I, I like. So it's not just the whites. I think the reds benefit from that too. <coughs> 